It's a glorious morning. And I'm stood about a mile and a half northeast of Langurig in the Upper Wai. And I'm looking across the way at Glan Yi Rid. Tiny hill cottage tucked away on the northeastern side of the marsh's pool. It's backed by a plantation. I'd say it's tucked into a cum. Very marshy, and that's why they call it the Marsh's Pool. So a lot of water runs off these hills. It's very quiet, very remote. There's no, there's no track or road leading up to this place. It's isolated. And it's the former home of Robert Gibbings, the author of Coming Down the Wye which was first published in 1942. Robert Gibbings was a, a wood engraver. He was born in 1889 and died in 1958. And he was a founder member of the Society of Wood Engravers. And one of the um, key figures in reviving wood engraving in the 20th century. He was a very talented man. As muted, an author too. He wrote other books other than Coming Down the Y, but Coming Down the Y is a classic. And I've read it. It's a fantastic book. All the images in the book are engraved by him. So these images that you see here are his engravings. And the book tells the tale of the why, right up here in Plinlimon, all the way down to Chepstow. And scholars have uh, recognized it as culturally important. And it is a brilliant book, wonderfully written. If you want to know about old school Wales or old school Upper Wye, or even the Wye, it's called Coming Down the Wye, then read Coming Down the Wye by Robert Gibbings. So I'm here at his home, just looking at it across the way. Going to go and check it out. Let's go and see. It looks, looks quiet. Not sure if anyone's living there. Doesn't look like it. Let's go and have a look. Well, this is the only <clears throat> access track into Glan Yi Rid. It's very basic. It's probably been here many, many decades. Getting a good view of the Marsh's Pool now. Robert Gibbings wrote some excellent passages regarding the pool. I haven't brought them with me today. I've brought another passage, which I'll read later. But he describes it beautifully. All well, the nature the life, the processes, the spiritual dimensions. He describes observing it. And really becoming at one with it. Some mallards just taking flight. It's 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to knock on the door first, see if anyone's in. If there is, we'll have a chat. If not, I'll respectfully have a look around. Looks as though there are some brand new windows fitted into the cottage. They wouldn't have been there back in his day. There's a little gate at the front. Wow. I mean, it's such a classic coming down the Y. I am really stoked to be here. <laughs> Beautiful, very quiet still. Well, there never is any quietness, there's always noise. But you get my meaning. Ah, wonderful. Yeah, it all looks quite new. Reasonably well kept, possibly a holiday home or a second home for somebody. Beautiful place to live for a while and write a book. Wow, walk up these steps, eh? Yeah, Robert Gibbings came up here. These old steps. There's no one here. It's uh, all locked up, all locked up. Same tiles though, very same tiles. Wow, small little place. But ample if you want peace and quiet and just to write, meditate, focus, you know. Nah, this is the, yeah. Simple utility. Wow, check it out. What a view. It's the only place here. There is no other. I thought I could smell death. There's a dead sheep here. Got the neck caught in a fencelet. I've seen that before on a number of occasions. Yeah, just could not get out. You can see here on the River Arrow Walk up in the Guansesti Hill Range near Kington, a sheep that uh, succumbed to the same fate. Later, we came across a lamb that had got its neck, head caught in the fence. It was gonna die, but we rescued it. If you wanna check out the lamb rescue, brilliant little video. And it was really pleased. 
the mother was chuffed. <laughs> well, I'm just going to take a once around. Oh, that's wonderful being here. This is where Robert Gibbings lived. This is amazing. He spent a couple of winters here. Look at it, it's absolutely beautiful. Isn't that amazing? Isn't that just the perfect place to get away? Somebody owns it. Well, there's not much to see out the back. Here's the view of the cottage from the rear and the marsh's pool. Again, once more. Perfect place, huh? I'd love to own such a place. <laughs> well, own it, share it, I'd share it. I'd share it with people and families that need it. Yeah, I wouldn't possess it. Oop. Got a fire pit here. Nice. I bet they've had some good times around here. Yeah, you can see people gathered around there, talking about all manner of things, laughing, being pensive. Optimistic. Energized, full of love. Love for this place. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I love this place already. That's an ideal place to sit down just in that sunlight there. Just there. And read the passage that I've brought. passage is about people gathering and it's about a gathering that happened here some locals turned up to come and see Robert and there was music and singing and camaraderie so I'd like to read that passage to you well here's the passage I'll read it as best I can Beautiful. A passage from Coming Down the Y by Robert Gibbons, chapter 29. The closer I am to nature, the happier I am. I love to be alone with the winds that come up from the other side of the world, to be alone with these hills, some of the oldest hills on our planet. I like to feel the seasonal rhythm, to be conscious of the rising sap in spring, the maturing of the growth in summer, the tonic of the autumn, the sleep of winter. I thought when I came to my cottage by the lake that I was coming to find peace in solitude. I thought to hear no sound but the cry of the birds, the trickle of the stream through the bog, the breathing of the wind, the crackle of the fire. And so I lived for a time, grudging each moment when a fellow human drew near, counting only those moments happy when I was alone, until the last day of the year. That night there came visitors, farmers and shepherds, with their wives and their daughters. They sat with me around my fire, and as naturally as the logs took light, so their voices took fire. And they sang song after song in their native tongue. The eyes of the old men were closed, while their hands beat time to the music. The eyes of the young girls were open, but their thoughts were far away. 
Then I realised that they were born of the same soil as the seeds and the rushes, and that their voices were the spirits of the wind, and the rain and the sun, that shines golden on the snow. Then I realised too that I need no longer be alone or lonely, for here were men and women who loved the things that I loved, men whose roots were as deep in the soil as those of the gnarled alder trees on the hillside, women whose hearts were fresh as the stalwart in the well. Di was among the party, and before they left they sang a song which seemed to tear deep into the vitals of one's emotions. I said to Di, it has the notes of a harp. He said to me, it is the golden harp. Then they went out into the crisp night air, and I was glad that it was dark, for there were tears in my eyes. I found it difficult to speak. At last, in an effort to break the tension, I said to Di, that's the hell of a bright star over the hill. Have you any idea what its name is? I don't know, he said. It's been there for years. So that song, and that clapping of hands, and that celebration happened in that cottage right there on the last day of the year. What a beautiful time. All those native Welsh people singing in their native tongue. Joyous, happy to share the moment with Robert Gibbings, who was, prior to that, a bit of a loner. But later he cried, realizing that he was one, they were one, and they lay. They loved the same things in life. They were kindred. Brilliant. There were kindred spirits in there one night. Singing. Exchanging stories. And hoping for a better year. One of them was Robert Gibbings. Yeah, brilliant. If you want to comment about that, guys, on girls, please do. You know me, I always get back to you. And if you want to give Glan Yee Red a thumbs up and that story, that passage, please do. And if you'd like to subscribe to get more videos in the future, don't forget to hit the button below. I'm always making new videos. Hiking adventure videos, simple videos brotherly videos real life all right until next time take care that's me from glanny rid peace